you're thinking to yourself that these look like some unsavoury characters, you're right. They're actually all bastards. Great bastards. JTF. We're in Bucharest and today we want to check out the museum behind us and also the Parliament House. If you're thinking to yourself that these look like some unsavoury characters, you're right. They're actually all bastards. Great bastards. She ate the last piece of cake, didn't you? Hey Jan. Try and click on that button in the corner. <laughs> I do appreciate how the New Zealand exhibit is pretty much 100% Kiwis. There's also a bird. That's Jen when the temperature's 21 degrees Celsius. I would just like to say how amazed I am at the Canadian Gator. Lark is really excited about the Australian exhibit, but me, I'm all about the moose. I just spotted this guy. I mean, this is pretty oh. epic. <laughs> School lift. We finished up at the Natural History Museum, which was actually quite interesting. They did this funky thing with the lights. At first, we thought there was a problem with the power, or maybe there were sensors in the room, and if you weren't moving around, they'd kind of dim the lights. But actually, they were showing you what all the animals look like in a night setting every so often so that was that was really interesting we've had to head home because we didn't realize that we'd need our passports to get into the parliament uh, so yeah we, we've come home to get our passports we thought our uh, our driver's licenses would uh, would do the trick as as regular id but no we, we need to show them passports so the secret service can verify who we are so yeah heading home to grab them then we're off to the parliament to check that out apparently that's one of the hottest things to do here really could use the heat on such a cold rainy day. Shamefully I've had to put this blue shirt back on. Uh, I have worn this a few times as you've probably seen in the previous videos. Stinky. Uh, it doesn't smell too bad. 
But uh, yeah, the reason is uh, it's pretty embarrassing. But I, I left a bunch of clothes in the hotel in Yash. They're getting couriered back to Constanza, which is really nice. Thanks for that, Dragosh. Really appreciate it. So yeah, then I'll, I'll have a few more warmer things to wear if it rains again. We've come to check out the parliament. This building is the second largest administrative building in the world. It's the world's heaviest building. It, uh, yeah, it really punches, punches hard for a building. So, uh, please have the pants as forward as you can towards the line and as front as you can. So, uh, the traditional bring as fast. Most of them are can make the class for the line. Particularly, this just reminds me of a massive bathroom. What's around here? So basically, this is the spot in between these two bricks where big man Ceausescu laid down the first stone before this building could be constructed. They don't know exactly where, but it's somewhere between these two bricks. My mum still keeps her phone numbers in one of these. Don't you, mum? When you think that car park is full, normally is not. We always find more. Uh, we just finished up our tour. It took about two hours and we only saw 4% of the building. Uh, the, room, uh, the building's got over 1,100 rooms, so there's no way to see all of them. Big place, eh? Huge. This place is so big, they literally haven't finished 10% of it. They've just left it because it's not a priority to finish it. It's so big they never use all of it. They try and rent out rooms to cover the cost of the maintenance, but the maintenance runs up about 6 million euros a year. So yeah, it's a massive place. Uh, Murdoch wanted to buy it a long time ago for a, a billion bucks to turn it into the world's biggest casino. There have been a few other crazy plans for it, but still to this day it's used as an administrative centre and uh, a place for meetings like, uh, like NATO meetings, etc. I mean, it's opulent and pretty. It's a giant waste. It's, it's a giant reminder of Ceausescu. back there and go in the church and pray before the exams. 
so maybe they would pass. I don't know. It's just a story I heard. And that's why it's called the Students' Church. I do believe so. That's at least what people told me. <laughs> I don't know. I, I never researched. Yeah, I never cool. looked it up on Wikipedia. Shame on me. Oh, this you crazy mother... <laughs>